Hi, this is Nikolai from Bunker Samples, and this is Bunker Strength Volume 2. Bunker Strings Volume 2 follows the same concept as Volume 1 and was recorded in the same place, so the two blend perfectly together. The principle behind it all is to use the technology assembling to make the impossible possible, and that is done with the density slider. The density slider controls the density of the texture by literally changing our sample size on the fly. So at the bottom you have three players and at the top you have nine. As you can hear, it's a very dry and crisp sound, making it easy to mix with your existing libraries. All the articulations are string textures. The first one you just heard is called Super Sultesto Pulses. The pulses refers to potato, not to be confused with potato, a playing technique where you're playing sort of soft bow accents. All the players are playing their own rhythms independently of each other, and that's what creates this lovely shimmering texture. It's a very soft articulation played way over the fingerboard, so you get a lot of lovely bow noise. Then we have octave pulses, which is also a potato articulation, but played much louder, and half the players are playing an octave above the rest. We'll take a look at the other instruments later. Then we have tremolo bursts, normal. The idea here is that the players are playing randomly timed little short bursts of tremolo, but when they're not doing a tremolo, they're just holding the note. So you get a constant pitch and then you get these little bursts of tremolo sticking out here and there. You can literally hear it kind of walking around in the section. It's the kind of sound where you can just hold a chord forever and it will keep sounding interesting. Then we have tremolo burst sopant. It's exactly the same, except every time the players are playing a tremolo burst, they move the bow close to the bridge to get that thin and nasal sopant sound. Next up, plectrum tremolo a guitar pick used on string instruments. So that covers the five single articulations that every instrument has. Then we have five combination articulations that combine these in various ways. First one is Sultesto pulses into octave pulses. Sultesto pulses into the plectrum tremolo. Sultesto pulses into tremolo bursts normal. Super useful. 
But my personal favorite is Tremolo Burst Normal into Tremolo Burst Soul Pumped. This one doesn't stack the articulation, but rather crossfades between them so you can kind of morph seamlessly from one to the other. Bursal pod into plectrum tremolo. Great if you're scoring a horror movie. Before we move on to the other instruments, let's have a look at the features of the long patches. You've already seen the density slider. The expression is just an extra volume control, so you get even more dynamic range. These are mapped to CC1 and 11 by default, but you can change that by right click. You have control over the attack and release with these knobs here. And the stereo rip slider, you drag up and down, you can collapse the stereo image to mono. Or you can make it extra wide. You can command a control click to set it back to neutral, which is the way it was recorded. And you can pan your stereo signal with the stereo pan knob. This makes it super easy to mix bunker strings with your existing libraries. Two round robins is the default way it was recorded. It's not real round robins, but it simply starts playback in two different positions in the same sample. So if you repeat your note, it doesn't sound so robotic. You can lose the two round robins, and these are actual toggle switches. You can have one or the other. And now you're layering the same sample with itself, but starting playback in two different positions. This effectively doubles the ensemble size. So let's hear it without. So that's nine players at the top there. Now we have 18. Auto purge is useful if you're just using a single articulation and not switching back and forth between them. It purges any samples not needed for whatever articulation is selected. Velocity control is an extra volume control. If you turn it on, now how hard you play on your keys determines the starting volume of the note. Super useful for bringing out the top note of a chord, for example. Let's move on to the violas. Octave pulses. This is very high for violas, I remember because I was one of the players. The tremolo bursts. Sulpont version of that. The Plexon Tremolo. And then the Combi articulations. Let's listen to the cello. And the octave version of that.
tremolo bursts. Diesel pond version of that. And the basses. I love that sound and I love how it keeps being interesting even though you're just playing a couple of notes. The octave version. Tremolo bursts. Liesel Pont. Plectrum tremolo. All these articulations are also available in the ensemble pads, which is a true ensemble pads, meaning that all the samples have been mixed and bounced together to save you RAM. As you can hear, these have been panned into a standard orchestral position. Then we have the shorts pads. The sounds in here are all inspired by Johnny Greenwood's score for There Will Be Blood, particularly a cue named Proven Lands, where he uses guitar picks on string instruments. There are three articulations all centered around the guitar pick or plectrum. We have a normal pizzicato, then we have a percussive strum, and then we have the same tremolo as we heard in the longs patches. That is included here because a real player can very quickly go from a normal pizzicato to a tremolo and I wanted this patch to have that same functionality. The sound is like a pizzicato on steroids. The first thing to note is that the density slider also works here. You have three players at the bottom and nine at the top. As you can hear, it's like a normal pizzicato, but much crispier and with a very sharp attack. A big part of that sound is the pre-transient, the noise the pig makes when it hits the string. So to hear that fully, there is a 20 millisecond delay on all the shorts. If you don't like playing with that kind of latency, there is a sample start offset knob here. Just don't forget to set it back to zero when you've played in your part. I also highly recommend setting a negative track delay in your door of 20 milliseconds to keep everything in time. The strum is a percussive, non pitch sound, and it is played by lightly dampening the strings and playing all four of them at once. It has 10 round robins and is mapped across the same range as the pizzicato, so if you go from one to the other, you don't have to move your hand, you can just stay where you are and keep playing. And this one you've heard before. In this patch, it's velocity sensitive by default so that if you go from pizzicato into a tremolo the volume matches. You have separate attack and release controls for the shorts and for the tremolo and you can switch between them with this little switch. The auto fade is a little script that can help you cut down on voice count. If you watch the voices used up here when it is off, you can see we quickly get into 100 voices. If I turn auto fade on, you will see that that is much more reasonable. It works by quickly fading out any previous note when a new note is played. For the note to be faded out though, it has to be released. Anytime you play a note, it rings out for as long as you set with the release knob. But if you play a new note, the previous note gets dampened. It also works with chords as long as you play all the notes within 50 milliseconds of each other. 
This is very similar to the way a real instrument works, where when you move your finger to play a new note, the previous note stops ringing out. It also has very creative use because it works with keys outside of the range. So for example, if I play a low G and then immediately play one of the white notes outside of the range, it will dampen that G. So it has some creative use as well. The important thing to remember is that it will only dampen notes that have been released. So if you want a note to ring out, just keep holding it. Pizza overlay works with the tremolo articulation and it does what you think. It overlays a pizzicato at the beginning of the tremolo. And without. In settings, you will find the sample start offset that I mentioned before, but you will also find a brand new articulation switching system developed specifically for Bunker Strings Volume 2. When it is set to key switches like it is now, it functions exactly the same way as the longs patches. But when you enable hotkeys MIDI CC, the default articulation is always the pizzicato, and then you can momentarily switch to either of the other two articulations using the methods that you select here. You can do it with a hotkey, you will see when I turn it on, the red key pops up here. As long as I hold that note down, I get the strum. And the moment I release, we're back to pit. As I mentioned before, the strum is mapped across the entire range. You can just keep playing the same note and go back and forth between pizzicato and strum. The hotkey for tremolo is green, and you can put the hotkeys wherever you want with this slider. Just drag left and right, and you can see the green key is moving down here. The other method you can use is sending a CC, a value of 64 and over. We'll select that articulation and anything under will go back to the pizzicato. You select the CC you want to use with this menu. And if you don't see the CC you want, it is because it is selected in the other menu. It makes a lot of sense to use CC64, the sustain pedal for this. So I can play my pizzicato. And the moment I switch sustain pedal on, There is one challenge with this, and that is that the sustain pedal still works as a sustain pedal. It sustains the note, so you can very quickly get a big mess. The solution to that is order fade. Remember that will fade out any previously played note as long as that note has been released. Now you basically have a tremolo legato. It even works with chords. Let's hear the viola shorts. The strum. And the tremolo you already know. The cello. And the bass. As is a bunker samples tradition, these are very powerful. We even recorded strums with the bass. And of course the tremolo. And of course we have shorts on the example pads as well. And that's Bunker Strings Volume 2. I hope you get to enjoy this library. I think it's one of the best things I have ever made. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.